What's up guys, so we're bringing you a new Bleach Online video. Just hit 30k vitality, I don't think I did that on a video. Uh, so you know, I'm still praying for something to come my way. That will be the only type of change. Now, 30k vitality is pretty much going to be about 3 ultimate charges, assuming it's still 40k crystals each. Um, I should be fine for that. You know, now I've been forcing myself to log on to Bleach Online just to collect prestige. I really don't want to drop out of Mugetsu rank, avoiding, you know, losing the Mugetsu rank. And on top of that, you know, we did go over the last events, or these events last week, right before I had my whole birthday weekend, which my birthday was basically celebrated a week earlier, because next Sunday is my actual birthday. Uh, so it's pretty much uh, like two busy weeks back to back, on top of everything else. You know, they did also completely change the server bracket. So my server group, instead of going all the way up to server one, which is honestly pretty cool in the sense where we got ourselves Bankai power. It only goes up to like 100 something now. Um, which, you know, even then it's really, it's pretty deep. You know, we're, we're just going up to the hundreds. Uh, but we still can't get ourselves Bankai power. And then the events end or reset in two days. Which, uh, on the Bleach forums, if you guys check right, then we'll post them. Uh, as soon as he gets them, which I think is tomorrow. So I should have probably saved the Bleach video for tomorrow, but then it probably would have been too late. And I didn't really have that much time. But on the bright side, I can do a Bleach video earlier for next events, uh, just for you guys. So that'll be that. Hopefully I can fix my schedule of doing Bleach videos a lot sooner than I like to. Don't like doing Bleach videos throughout the middle of the week. Um, yo, honestly, I haven't seen any like partners in Joint Task. Maybe I've missed out. Who knows? I honestly haven't paid attention to the events. Um, everything else, though, seems the way it should have been. But there are some good like stuff to talk about. So, you know, I really didn't want to do a Bleach video. I could have done a lot sooner. But I didn't really have anything to talk about. So, what I do have, though, is a few things to go over. So, guys, the first thing to look at is basically how Brawmaster... Uh, he changed, you know, he changed his name to Defensive Player of the Year, D-P-O-T-Y, and he is pretty much the first time I've seen anyone with an orange name in the, at least English side of Go Games for Bleach. i never seen anybody um, outside of Chinese players that did have orange names, so there was apparently someone by the name of Alex that I believe on, like, I, I don't know which server it was, but has the orange name as well on the Go Game side. i just never seen it. Never heard of that person, never seen that person before. So Brawmaster is basically the first person I do see. And there's a screenshot of him getting the orange name, which has to have taken a long time. He is on the very early servers of EU. Uh, it is just, you know, crazy. I mean, <laughs> orange name. I am, you know, pretty far from that myself. Which is just, yeah, I mean, I've started for... I'm not even a year into the game, and the last few nodes are pretty ridiculous so i don't know how that's gonna work out you know maybe in a year from now i might actually get this if i actually did ryoka and stuff because i honestly miss out on events way too much uh but you know looking into the next thing it's gonna be bankai kenpachi so you know i was so hyped i was like yes they're finally releasing bankai kenpachi and then tears came from my eyes when i saw what happened to him so you know, looking at this picture, so looking at the Kenpachi, I mean, when you see Bankai Kenpachi, an orange name, you're like, yes, they're giving him justice. You look at the growth rates, okay, 9,000 base strength, 7.0 growth rates for strength, okay, you know, I can, I can dig with that. Agility, 6,000 base stat, with 5.5 growth rate, I'm like, okay, that's pretty good, really good. Then you see Wisdom to 2.5, not a big deal, right? I'm like, okay, so with these growth rates, you kind of assume he's an assaulter, right? You know, gotta be some crazy assaulter that whips out the damage. And then HP 7,000, very high growth rates, you know, 6.8. You're like, man, that's, that's a pretty strong assaulter, don't you think? And then you see the formation, and you see a Vanguard. And you're just like, Vanguard? I mean... You, you already have Shira Kenpachi, and then you have, uh, or is it Shin Shira, whichever one. You have Shira Kenpachi, and then you have yourself Nozarashi as a Vanguard. And then you have the CSB Kenpachi, which is also a Shira Kenpachi. And then you have yourself the Tavern one. So, 
it was either going to be break the bank and do a assault or support that completely goes off of Kenpachi's nature. Because, you know, he's a freaking monster. Like, you would assume him being a huge damage dealer. So it had to be an assaulter. Or, you know, just give him a third assaulter because the CSB version is really outdated. And the Tavern one is completely outdated. So they decided to make him a Vanguard. And it's just, we just had human Komomura. And he's pretty good. I mean, I don't know why people, like, really look down upon human Komomura. He is a beast. I mean, he is a freaking beast. I I do like the way they bait him. Um, very tanky. He's also immune to mutilate. So he's a pretty nasty vanguard. I mean, I would like to use a human Komomura or Ryuji Jaka team over a sexy Kukaku. I definitely would take Komomura over her. And then Bankai Kenpachi, you know, Vanguard. But besides that, let us look into it. So 20% damage rate, 20% strength, 20% stamina, good base stats to increase, and very strong passive. And then you look at the skill. Attack all enemies, generate 220%, or growth rate 20, 220%, sorry. It increases his own team's damage rate by 30%, which is a rough translation. Decreases enemies' defense by 50% for two rounds, which is very good. And then he also recovers his own fury by 50 so you're like, this kind of seems like Ginger Boy. So he's basically going to be a stronger true Shikai Ichigo. You know, he's definitely going to be the guy who probably uh, takes over Ginger Boy himself. And, you know, very, very strong with the skill. And then you also have exclusive skill, which is the level 100 version. 280% uh, growth rate, even higher. Attacks all the same enemies. Increases his own team's crit rate by 50% as well as hit rate. Reduces enemies' avoid injury rate by 50%, which is immune rate for those of you who uh, don't play Unlimited Ninja. And recovers one random ally's fury by 75. That is a pretty nasty exclusive skill. Uh, and then look at the modifiers. Okay, fury reduction, fury restriction. Very good against Hikifunes and Senjus. Well, Hikifunes won't hit him because she doesn't target Vanguards. But regardless, all other characters that do drop fury... Um, when, when attacked, 50% chance to deduct enemy fury by 50. That's actually a pretty good passive. Um, that's uh, that's pretty good, 50% as well. Then another passive, when attacking, 100% chance to increase team's crit damage by 50%. Another good passive. Uh, second round, you know, if you have T T1, you know, he will definitely boost everybody up. Third mod, you know, or fourth mod going with the 15% extra block rate. And then you have yourself... Fifth mod, which increases team's attack by 20%, which is, I'm assuming it's a halo. Uh, so that's very good, you know, 20% extra attack. Then 30, uh, sixth mod gives him 30% extra avoid injury rate. Very good modify. And then the seventh mod, when he, uh, <laughs> when he dies, he removes the enemy's defense by 100% for one round. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, dropping the entire enemy team's defense... That would make Ryuji Jaka's buff completely useless. I mean, it would drop your defense completely. Um, what do I think about this Vanguard? I think offense, offensive-wise, he has huge capabilities. Defensively, I still think... Um, okay, I think this Bankai Kenpachi will be the strongest offensive Vanguard by far. Easily. I don't think anybody, any other Vanguard will do more damage than him. And the amount of utility he provides for the team is very good as well. But, you know, the vanguards now are pretty much super tanky in the way that Ryuji Jaka wins you the fights. So unlike Komomura, he's not immune to Mutilates. Uh, so Mutilate and Ignite will go off on him. And he doesn't really have things that really increase his defense too much. Apart from the Avoid Injury Rate and the Block Rate. Which, you know, I assume he'll have Block Bonds. So he might be like another Nozarashi. Uh, he'll basically be a boosted Nozarashi. So he'll be the Nozarashi Kenpachi 2.0. That's basically what he is going to be. Um, but as far as defensive vanguards for, you know, like stack the vanguard teams for Ryuji Jaka to kill everybody, you'd still pretty much want to go for Sexy Kukaku or Human Kumamura. Um, apart from that, though, it's Bankai Kenpachi. I mean, he's a freaking beast. You know, my favorite character in Bleach um, you know, like looking at his skill, he's still freaking sick. You know, no matter how many times I see the skill go off, it is crazy. But I had higher hopes. You know, it's just, I, I feel like Go Games can never get the partners right. 
I mean, I'm not saying to make them overpowered or break the game, but in my eyes, Bankai Kampachi would have been the equivalent to an 8 Gates guy from Unlimited Ninja, where he had 500 something percent growth rate on his skill, and it would nuke the entire backline. I mean, he basically hit for support, so that would have made him an insane partner for PvE. You know, would have been for Ryoka or anything else, Evil Spirit, you know, Void Region, it would have been crazy damage, and he would have been an assaulter. That was my envision of Banke Kampachi. Man, honestly, I could say that it has died, you know? <laughs> and now he's going to have a price tag of, like, 40k. So, that much for Vanguard. Eh, I mean, maybe in 50 years I'll see him in Ultimate Battle Power event with uh, a million vitality stacked up, so I might be able to pick him up if I'm lucky. Um, and apart from that, you know, we still have a new Zanpakuto the next Zanpakuto, which who knows, maybe it, it could come out uh, Chinese New Year. Or maybe it come out later this year. But, you know, if they do Nozorashi, Benihime, or a Kyoka Suigetsu, honestly, I don't know what we can expect. But, you know, that that's honestly it for <laughs> Bankai Kenpachi. Um, the last thing I wanted to tell you guys was basically, um, you know, some amazing achievement. Which, if you go all the way to the end... Um, I actually don't know where it is. Maybe it's in the richest? I would assume so. No. It's actually not. Um, you know, it would have been nice to show you guys where it exactly resides. But I myself have no idea where to find it. Actually, no, wrong thing. This is another stupid achievement, by the way, though. Do the Jigo Kudo like 10,000 times? Like, really, though? Like, <laughs> that is a another stupid one. Uh, this is... Oh, what the fuck, man? I really cannot find it. Um, there you go, there you go. So, Spirit Stone King. Alright, this is a title that everybody looks at, and they're like, what the fuck, right? You know, 180 level 12 Spirit Stones. Now, for those of you who are good at math, please calculate to me how much it would cost for 180 level 12 Spirit Stones. And I'm talking pure, like, shop cost. I'm not talking about, like, the cheapest you can get in an event by buying boxes or something infusing, blah, blah, blah. What is the exact amount of cost to get yourself 180 of these Spirit Stones? That is what I am trying to figure out. And for this exact reason that, you know, everybody knows Fuji has the highest battle power in the game for our side, right? Fuji is, just, has the highest power. Now he has the highest power and the Spirit Stone King title, which that guy is freaking insane. And he's also a part of Mage's Ultimate Battle Power event, which... According to the battle power list I updated right before the new year, uh, I think Mages was third or fourth battle power wise, somewhere around there. So, you know, two monsters. But this title, I mean, you can see the screenshot, Fuji has it. Now, it is not the greatest title. I mean, it does give you 2000 speed, which I believe is a title with the highest speed that you can get. So, you know, it has one purpose. That's probably why he's using it, the extra 2k speed. And you get yourself 5% damage rate on top of that. But 180 level 12 spirit stones? I mean, come on, man. How much do you have to recharge? A million gold to get all of that? I, I honestly don't know. Like, that has to be... Fuji has probably had to have recharged over a million gold to have everything that he has on his account. Because that is just... It is next level. I mean, it, it is so damn expensive. Like, that is... Like, next level spending. I don't even know. I honestly think Fuji has spent more money than anyone... I, may, I don't know if about anyone, but like, m like maybe everybody on Unlimited Ninja. I don't know how much the strongest person on Unlimited Ninja recharged, but I definitely think Fuji has broke the bank. Because even though the game is way less developed, since we don't have ninjas with like 15 growth rates and stuff, um, you know, it's pretty crazy. And then look at Kumamura, like he's still here, and there's a Bankai Kampachi coming, who knows. I still like Kumamura, really good, plus it's a 30k recharge, so... Um, going for strictly Kamamura in Ultimate Charge would be a very good way to get him. But when it comes to getting any partner now, it's like you really, you really, you really, you really kind of do need a Region Jaka. So I would just recharge 30k, stack the gold for a Region Jaka in some sort of other event, and then afterwards, I guess, um, just chill for a partner. You know, you'd have a lot of gold stacked up. You'd have super value. And if you're lucky enough, 
to actually win first place, you'd get yourself a hundred percent rebate on top of that. So hopefully the thirty k will win you. Um, but you know, I'm just still shocked. So you know, this I definitely feel that this video was a lot better than last week's video, and that's why I'm kind of hoping that you know some things keep happening every week and I can keep track of. Even if anything happens and I might miss it, you know, feel free to post it in the Discord, um, in the Bleach chat for sure. And I definitely, I always look through it week after week. Just so I can, you know, keep track of all this stuff. And just in case I miss something. Because I want to bring you guys some, you know, information from week to week. So this week was a lot better. A lot, I got I had, a lot, I had a lot more excitement doing this Bleach video. Because it was just a lot of things happening around me. You know, when it comes to Bleach videos, it's not even what's hap what's with me anymore. Uh, like, you know, my, my Bleach, I guess, existence has vanished. <laughs> except for just, you know, doing videos each week to bring you guys some sort of entertainment. And give you guys some sort of information when I hear about it. Um, I still really do love the game, you know, honestly, even even if I did fell down the ranks, like, I'm third in the power rankings, and it's honestly been rough, and I haven't been doing CSB, like, I just never registered again, you know, still 5k points, guys must be proud of me, uh, you know, I still, I don't even have, like, anything else that can really raise my battle power either, I don't think, just, you know, all the silver that's been honestly stacked up, and maybe a little bit into bonds, also the Asachi, uh, I think I can actually, I think I actually have enough Asachi to level up my Hikifuni's equipment. Now, the thing I'm not sure what I want to do is, should I just keep stacking Hikifuni's equipment, which I probably should, or try to go into Namaya and other characters a little bit. Um, they do have fully socketed equipments, which is a good thing, while well, Hikifuni doesn't. So if I do equip, or if I do upgrade the gear, uh, I'm not sure if it changes quality. But if it does affect the socket cost, it's kind of going to screw me a little bit more than I already am. So I kind of wish, you know, I went back to the start of it where I knew, like, oh, if you just stacked up all your sockets. And I really should be doing CSB, you know? Like, I really want to get that Aizen. Um, that Aizen, like, I need to I need to play the game just for CSB. You know? I, need to, I need to really do it. Um, I need to force myself to do, get the arena chest every day and do CSB. Because that Aizen is pretty much going to be my only chance in this game, you know? I honestly don't I don't I don't see myself getting anything else in this game. Like it has to be a miracle for me to recharge and actually put some more work into my account, you know, because I do have high hopes that there might be a Bleach Online official game, uh, you know, maybe the live action movie that they do inspires them or something. You know, maybe they get themselves a sponsorship or whatever, you know, just some kind of hope, please. Like bring a Bleach Online official game. Then I could definitely get into that. But for Bleach Online, again, from the Go Game side, you know, as much as I do want to, because it's like the only Bleach Bleach Online, it's also the only Bleach game like this. Um, you know, I've just been enjoying Brave Souls a lot more. So I've just been doing, you know, focusing a lot more on Brave Souls than everything else. But um, Challenge Stone Shop, I think I actually break this 10k with all the stones I just purchased. Mm, maybe? Yeah, I do. So I finally have 10k stones, which White Ichigo is 12k, but I'm not getting White Ichigo. Like, even if I got him, I would still use Berserk Renji, so he would just be like a mess around partner for no exact reason, but he does look cool, you know, I do like his animation. Um, and, you know, the good thing is they do have the 120 sets and the accessory sets, which I could use the 120 sets for extra Asachi, or I could just go for the accessories to get better accessories. So I do have options, I could get 5 of each. And then Aizen, which I need to go for. So maybe I can get the Aizen. Not sure how long it will, it will take. Um, I used to. I usually clear two or three rows. If I'm lucky. So maybe the Aizen will t still take like half a year or something. But I really don't care. You know, I need to force myself to do CSB. Um, this Aizen is my last hope. That will be, you know, something I would love to see. And maybe, you know, I can't even imagine the game half a year from now. I really want to see what will happen. Because I really fell off since I stopped spending. And I honestly don't know what's going to happen back then. Uh, so I even... I finally did Void Region too. That was actually the first time I did Void in so long. I didn't do Void in a pretty pretty long time. So I actually started doing that. And then Tournament of the Throne Rewards as well. Um, yeah, you know, there's just been a lot of stuff going on. So exclusive, I can actually level it. So 51, guys. 51. You know, I'm actually hoping to get level 70 exclusive on her. And thanks to Tournament of the Throne... It actually might be a lot sooner than I thought it would be. 
Um, if I had the 10k exclusives login, it would boost me up uh, maybe 10 levels as well. So that would be pretty nice. And I would, be, I would actually be a lot closer to getting that. But yearly sign in coming in uh, 51 days. I have 14k coupons stacked up. So I have a nice Visor Revenge future looking. Um, yeah, I have a really good Visor Revenge future coming. So I would probably spend 20k coupons to get my tier 12. Wait for the next Visor and hopefully still have enough to get 20k. And I honestly don't know what I, what I would go for. Like uh, speed would be nice, but... You know, it's just, the thing is, having a cotton really messed me up, you know, at this point, it's like, you, I have, I'm forced to outspeed and hopefully kill the enemy before they put Ryu Jinjaka just to tank up, but that's just the problem, like, I, honestly, it's so bad going for speed, I really hope that they do some kind of Ryu Jinjaka special, um, you know, honestly, like, I honestly would need to just if I really wanted to get back into Bleach Online, just go for an ultimate battle power event. We'll hopefully win first place. And then just, you know, stack the gold up for Ryuji and Jaka. But then, you know, they'll probably release, like, Nozarashi. And it'll be better than Ryuji and Jaka. And I'll mess on Zanpakuto again. So, that's kind of what happened with Cotton. But that's all for today's video. I will bring you guys a Bleach Brave Souls video uh, pretty soon. I will be working on it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time.